Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Wow, it has been a literal hot minute since I've sat down and filmed something like this for you all. So I've officially moved into the new house. We are settled. It's been, I'd probably say like about a month now since we've been living here. So I feel like I'm in my routine and like settled and calm. So as you know, we moved into my parents' investment property, which there's a lot of benefits to living in my parents' house is like things like we can paint the wall, we can do what we like to the house we can put pictures up and it's not gonna like stop us from getting our bond back and things like that so one of the things that I have always wanted to do is put lots and lots and lots of photos and pictures and wall art up on our wall I'm very passionate about like art and photography and stuff so I really wanted to be able to like put my work or my memories and things up on the wall to make the place feel a lot more like home so what I thought I would be doing today is I want to take you guys all along with me on my journey of making a collage photo frame so these are quite simple to do you literally have to buy the photo frame print the pictures off and then pretty much hang it up so you just kind of got to get the right frame and the right size for what you want in your house so yeah so that is what I'm doing today so if you are interested just keep watching okay so I have my laptop here my desktop is literally disgusting but what I've done here is I've put all of the pictures that I want to put in the frames into a photo album called friends joint of all the different pictures that I might want to use with like some landscape some portrait in there exit that one and then here I have all of the pictures of me and Chelsea for the Chelsea photo frame so basically just sorted through all my pictures and then put them in separate ones and then I placed them onto my USB here. So then I plug this into the kiosk and print up the photo. And I hate this intersection when it is busy in the afternoon and there's always one car that comes speeding past. We love that for me. Okay, so I'm on my way to the shops right now. I just finished work and I'm going to be getting all the pictures that I just organized into that album on my computer that you guys would have just seen printed off. So I don't know what sizes I need just yet. I'm pretty sure most of the frames that you can purchase from Kmart are four times six, I think, but I think they have like varied kind of image sizes, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna go get them printed off and I'm gonna decide whether or not I want to make like a collage where you cut all of the individual images out and like the backgrounds out and it's just like people's faces. It sounds weird, I know, or if I just wanna just get like the generic frames and then just do like a few different little ones. I definitely wanna do one where it's like all of our friends, like all of our experiences that we've had with our friends and things like that. But I also wanna do one that's just like dedicated to just like me and Chelsea. And I wanna print off like doubles of it and make her one and make myself one. So it's a little bit cringy, but I really wanna do that because Chelsea is my longest friend and we have some crazy photos together and I just, I don't know, I just kind of want to like put it all together and like see, like have all of our memories on like one big thing and hang it up in my filming room slash office so that I can always think about the good times when I'm in there um, because she is, apart from Jake, she is my soulmate. I think pretty much, you know, there's she's like my ride or die basically. So that is an actual thing. So yeah, so I'm just gonna go and get these printed off pretty much all done now just typing in my name and then I gotta wait for them to be printed this is at the shops just then in the last thing as you guys saw and I ended up picking up two different types of photo frames so I bought one photo frame for the lounge room here in our house and I also bought a second photo frame because I want to make a collage of pictures for Chelsea so the one I got for Chelsea is this white photo frame which has so it has eight picture slots you can decide whether you want to hang them like this or if you want to hang them like this it pretty much is your own choice this one here was from Kmart and it was $10 for this. So the thing about the collage photo frames is that if you do your research, you can find them really, really, really cheap as well. Instead of like going to all the effort of like 
cutting something out and like buying a frame like you can buy them like this now from like places like Ikea and Kmart so I bought this one for Chelsea and I will be getting a matching one for my room but I'm just gonna start with making hers first and the second one I bought is this huge one here which has about 14 different picture slots and it has three different sizes of pictures in it so this one here also has the ash wood look frame because all of the furniture in the lounge room here is like this color behind me like this is my lounge room behind me and it's all of this wood look so and all of the photo frames that we have are like a really light ash wood color so i thought i'd stick to the theme keep it cohesive and keep it like this this frame here was also $18 reduced from $20 like two dollars difference so this one was $18 for this huge frame which I can't even put all in the picture and once again you can keep it portrait way or you could do it landscape way depending on how you want to put the pictures in the frame I also went to Kmart and printed off all of my photos. This whole thing right here costed me 20, I think it was $22 for all of my prints. And I'll just show you like in a stack, the amount that I got, like, like this is such a huge amount of pictures. I got like one really big one here and the rest are all of the other sizes. Kmart's really good. I printed off a lot of doubles of things as well because I wasn't really sure how I wanted to put them in the frame, but Pretty much that is what you do. You buy the frames and then from Kmart and then you print off your pictures and put them in the frame basically. But okay, so let's start with this frame here. So I'm just gonna pull all of the plastic off. It's gonna use the end of this pen. Open up all of the little like notches here. This is like my least favorite part of any photo frame, especially when it's so big. <laughs> ah, pulled it off. There we go. If I pull this off, oh wow. Okay, so I'm gonna use that to put on the back of it once they're all in. So I might need some sticky tape for this, but okay. So I'm gonna take this big one here. I'll zoom you guys right in, to be honest, as far as it can go. That one should fit there. The only thing I'm thinking is if I don't stick them down, then they're just gonna like move. So I might need to get some sticky tape. So when it's like pulled up, it'll be facing the wall like towards me. So that's how we have to like put them on. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of tape, kind of just like on the edge like that. So then you can always like check it. That doesn't actually look that bad. Cool. So let's keep going. Alright, so now that they're all on in there now, you slide this bit of cardboard on the back of it to just, this will kind of just like keep them all black. And then slide this in on the back as well. This here is the finished product with all of the pictures put in it. And now, Jake, what are you going to do? Are you going to help me put it on the wall? Yeah. You can try. So I'm thinking that we're going to put it, so this is like our couch here. I think we're going to put it like here on the wall, I'm pretty sure. But that is literally how simple it is. You basically just like tape them on and then put it in and then you're there. I had to improvise down on this corner because I didn't print off portrait pictures in that size. So I just kind of like put two of our other pictures on there. So there. Yeah, but we'll, we'll center it enough that we can put another one over there. We are measuring the wall right now to get it centered. That's why you have a trainee boyfriend, everyone. Whoa! Whoa! 
Whoa! <laughs> almost fell over. Okay, we got it up on the wall. So it's right here in the middle of the couch and the table. If Jake could stop making so much fucking noise. Sorry. So you have the picture. And it's super nice. It's all of like different colors and shades and different times of day, I guess you could say. Super cool. So easy. And as I said before, like it just makes the space feel like that much more homely. And this is the one I made for Chelsea that I'll also put up in my filming room but basically I've just put a whole bunch of photos of us together from when we were really really tiny to when we are a lot older I thought it'd be a cute little piece for both of us to have matching just with all of our little memories but like I said before I did it the exact same way as I did the other one on the wall just super quick and easy literally just undo that put them all in tape them down and you are ready to go and they look really cute hung up to make your space look that little bit better. Okay, so that was how I made my collage photo frames. It is so, so, so simple. Literally anyone can do it. You just buy the frames, print off a bunch of photos and pretty much put them in the frame. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I put new videos out every week and I hope to see you guys all in my next video.